Dylan Cease is the White Sox starter. He went four and two-thirds against the Angels in his first go-round. Allowed three runs on five hits. Walk three. Cade three. Now the switch hitting Carlos Santana. 0 for 4 in the series opener on his 35th birthday. He is 0 for his last 12. Now you'll see a lot of umpires set up toward the inside corner. Check swing on a pitch in the dirt. He went around. Santana strikes out. Two punch outs in the first for Cease. The Royals do not score. The Sox are coming up. Mike Miner, the Royals starter this afternoon, he throws left handed. The White Sox have won 17 straight games against lefty hurlers dating back to last season. Switch hitting Leori Garcia will lead it off. The 04 05 Braves hold the record. That's 18 in a row. Miner nods yes to the sign, brings the pitch. Breaking ball swung on and missed. Nicely located slide. And Michael A. Taylor is the batter. The 3 1. Missed another high one. And now they've got Dozier caught. And he's going to be out. For some reason, Dozier got too big a secondary lead. Collins threw behind him and nailed him at second base. And the Royals are done in the second inning. Garcia struck out in the first. Batting right-handed. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Went right after him, lined to center field, and caught by Whit Merrifield before it got to center field. So Miner gets out of trouble. He gave up a line drive to get out of the inning. Now Mercedes, who walked in the second. The American League Player of the Week in the short week. That was the first few days of the season, but what a opening he had to the season. There's a breaking ball, grounded a third. Hunter Dozier has it. He'll fire across to first, and after a leadoff double and a man at third with one out, Mike Miner pitches out of it and keeps this game scoreless as we go to the fourth inning. And the batter is Jorge Soler. A set and the three-two, a swing and a miss. He got him on a slider. He's got five strikeouts. Worked around a couple of walks here in the fourth. Garcia with two on and two out. Fourth inning. Sox trying to break the seal here and get the first runs. Two and two to Garcia. Line over third. It's a fair ball. The Sox will take the lead. By a run. It's an RBI double. Madrigal home and Leori Garcia comes through with a two strike double. Leori Garcia makes it one nothing White Sox in the fourth. And two more in scoring position. For Luis Robert. High and deep into left field but it's going to be playable for Benintendi. And he makes the play. The White Sox have already stranded seven today but here in the fourth they have scored for the first time. We go to the fifth. Fizz will have it one nothing. Chicago. Standard defensive alignment against Dozier. 2 2 serve, swing and a miss, strike three. Cease has six strikeouts. Hey, he brought the that's nacho cheese right there. 98 miles an hour right by him. And now a dangerous batter. Two on two out for Merrifield. Ball in the gap could make it. 2-1 game with the Royals leading. Currently they trail it one nothing. Here's the pitch. A swing and a shot to left. That's a base hit. Here comes Kyle Isbell. Here's the throw to the plate. Offline. And the Royals have tied it on the base hit by Merrifield. It's a 1-1 ball game as Witt drives in his 10th run this year. Man, he is a tough out. Two outs, a run in, two on. And the batter is... Left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. Kopech from the stretch. 2-0 is rolled to the second baseman Madrigal who scoops, throws, and gets him. The Royals have tied it up on the Merrifield RBI hit. We go to the last of the fifth. And now two on with two out, and the batter will be Zach Collins. Collins was an All-American at the University of Miami, a high draft choice. Moving into the White Sox as a backup catcher to Yasmani Grandal getting the start today. Barlow deals fastball 
lifted in the air. Should be played either Taylor or Isbell. Michael with the call and the catch. And the Chicago White Sox leave two more. They have left nine stranded through five. Royals one, White Sox one. Hunter Dozier leads off the seventh inning. To short. Oh, Danny Mendick. Go oh, get you one. Mickey played his college baseball in Omaha at Creighton University. He was a star shortstop there. Bummer deals. And that is just barely off the plate. So Lopez with a good plate appearance. He walks. Andrew 0 for 2. A strikeout and a ground out. He walked in between. Let's see if he can shoot one down that left field line. There's the pitch. Checks a swing and a fastball in. And Lopez breaking on the pitch. Steals second base without a throw. Lopez stole second. Now the 2 1 pitch to Benintendi. Swung on. Hit to the left side and through. That's a base hit. Here comes Lopez. He will score, and the Royals take a 2 to 1 lead. And that's Benintendi's first RBI as a Royal. Adam Eaton has grabbed a bat for Andrew Vaughn. Williams the runner at first. Here's the pitch. Eaton into the right field corner. It's deep. It is. Gone! Two run homer. Adam Eaton. Three, two, sucks. Batter is Nick Madrigal. The runner at first and nobody out. Santana, did he apply the tag? Now he throws it away. Collins goes to third, Madrigal goes to second base. And now they're going to get a call, it looks like from the home plate umpire, Todd Tishner, that Madrigal is out. Well, I think he maybe he was out of the baseline. First and third, two outs for Robert. Next pitch knocked up the middle and caught by Whit Merrifield. A fine catch, but a two-run home run by Chicago's Adam Eaton has given the White Sox a 3-2 lead. Carlos Santana will bat. White Sox will overshift to the right against him. Santana hits it well to center. Robert is back. Ball He's ball. all the way back, yes. and the game is tied. Got him. Carlos Santana picked a perfect spot to get his first hit of this road trip. And one blown save turns into another blown save, and the game is tied at three in the ninth inning. Yes. The batter will be Andrew Benintendi, who drove in a run back in the eighth inning with a base hit. He's going to square the bunt. He's going to drag about right side of the pitcher. He throws home. He gets away from the catcher. Taylor scores, and the Royals take the lead here in the tenth inning. Second and third, two down now for Carlos Santana. Popped him up. Foul territory. It's a catcher Collins near the plate to make the catch. So the Royals do convert as they get that free base runner. The Sox will have a similar situation as we go to the bottom of the 10th. It's now 4-3 Kansas City. So now it's up to Nick Madrigal. Two out, runner at second. Last chance to dance for the Sox here in the tenth. Zimmer from the bell. Here's the 0-1. Swing, grounder to short. Nicky Lopez has it. Fires to first, and the Royals win. The Royals come from behind, force extra innings, and the Royals beat the White Sox in ten innings, four to three.